Hey, hey, hey guys. So we're doing this today. Um, this is the um, Pret and Craft members gift, the Sharing is Caring. Um, so we're going to have a new playlist coming up, which is the Stamps by Me Stamps and showing how we can craft with our stamps. Um, this video is obviously the Sharing is Caring, but I've also written down some little notes on how you can actually use your stamps. And so I'm rather excited. So I'm just going to um, pause you guys just for a second um, with this here so you can see the, the stamps. I'm going to pause it here while I get the rest of my um, rest of my bits. Okay, um, I'm back guys. So here it is. Not the best of stamped things, but there, there we go. So our first one, I'm going to go down my list. Um, as far as I'm aware and learnt so far, I have four ways. <sighs> Pardon me. And breathe out four ways to use a stamp set. So my first one is the one I do a lot is my water colouring. I just had it. Now I had to search a little bit for these because um I couldn't find I only have one I have two of these but I couldn't find the other one. So I only I have some cheapish um student grade um watercolours. I don't really have expensive because I don't do it enough. So yeah, I had to refill it as well guys, so Hope you don't mind <laughs> it took me a little bit so i'm just gonna um get some on my brush and um, sometimes i will alcohol ink it as well so that's cool alcohol ink gives me a brighter look again these are student grades so they're not they're not the best so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a few so you can see so you can see how i do it and then i'll pause it and finish it and then come back to you so we'll do a few leaves together and maybe maybe do a flower together and then I'll pause it so that you can don't have to sit and watch me do this. Let's go and just honestly this is just quick. It's in bath so I can go over as well, so that's awesome. Try to get it all a one even colour because we can add shading after. Um, you can always dab away if it goes out the edges. Tissue works just as well. <laughs> um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'm going to get myself a coaster. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, my husband came in with a cup of tea. So that's awesome. I love crafting with a cup of tea. Um, so yeah, I've just, <laughs> while he, he joined in with a cup of tea, um, I've just been adding a bit of shade in, so sorry about that. I'm just going to get quite a bit so I can fill in all my flowers. I'm going for red because it's nearly Valentine's Day. So who's got any partners? Have you got any plans with them? I'd love to say I have plans, but I don't. <laughs> That's lovely. That will dry nicely. Right side. Let me do the other one. Okay, guys. So you can see how I do this. It is very. I'm very simple with how I do my do my crafts. I don't. You know, I don't complicate things like shading in the areas that need it is a must okay so i'm just going to pause you guys in a second um i'm going to do one more leaf with you guys or a couple more leaves and then we'll pause and then i'll do them all together oh also top tip um watercolor like do one bit and then move to the other side of the page <laughs> that's a top tip as well otherwise they will bleed i learned that one embossing helps it's just sometimes if you do go over it will not help sometimes. So yeah, that's a top tip. So I'm going to pause the video, um, finish this off, and then come back to you. Okay, we're back, guys. So prime example, some of it has bleed and bleed through, um, especially over here. So I'm just going to. I shouldn't use. I don't usually do that. Um, but what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go over it again with the red. Wipe off my brush, go a little bit more with the green until I've got 
pick up a nice tidy little thing and then I'm going to quickly dry it and then we can stick it on the card. So that's watercolouring guys, simple at its finest. Just get my dryer, now that it's easy to access. Um, top tip, always have your wire coming from underneath you and not like in front of you, come from behind so that way the wire is not in the way as you're drying. So I'm just going to dry this. Okay, so that's near enough dry. Um, so I've got this cute little like greenish colour I love. Um, so I'm not necessarily going to use all of the stamped image. Um, the reason I've done four is because there's four quotes and I've previously cut them inked, embossed and cut them on some cards. So we've got Stand Tall You Are Fabulous, Sharing Is Caring, Thank You Is All I Want To Say and Go And Have A Great Day. So I think today we will layer this on here so that we can have a leaf or two maybe maybe a smaller one <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, I think we'll have that one. So, because previous video we ran out of glue, all I have at the moment until I go shopping is my double-sided tape, which is honestly my preferred. So I'm just gonna double-sided tape all over this, especially in the bits that could possibly flick up. Um, I mean, you could also use uh, foam dots, foam squares, and all of that. So I'm just gonna. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this bit down first, so then I can decide where I want things to go. So that's that. Make sure all my tape is on here, and I definitely want these floral bits showing. So I think I think we'll go here. Yeah, right there. And then you can get your scissors. All my tools are underneath the desk. I would have liked to have have everything up, but I previously just tidied. And so you can get your scissors and you can trim the rest of it off. Um, depending on how much is hanging over, you can always save it for another card. Um, I don't think I will be saving that bit for another card, but we'll put it there because it's got a bit of a sided tape on. See, so see. Anyways. So now we have this bit. Now I'm definitely going to be popping this bit up so that it's not flat against the card. And I'm going to use quite a little bit of my foam squares because I do want a little bit of height. If I had bigger foam squares that would be better. But at the moment I don't. I will get some when I go shopping though. So I'm just going to take these bits off. So, in the comments, can you let me know, how do you find the voiceovers? Do you enjoy them? Would you prefer me to chat away like I am now? Or would you just prefer the voiceovers? Do let me know. So, I think we'll have Santor, you are fabulous. There. And I'm just going to pause you quite quickly to get some Dovecraft drop, drop, drops. Okay, so I've got my Dovecraft drops. So, we're just going to... Place a few here and there. There we go. And that will go onto a card base. Look how beautiful that is. And the embossing just adds so much to that. And that was quite quick, guys. So let's do our second one. Um, for this one, I'm going to be using my Misty tool, my stamping tool. Um, but yeah, because I love this effect and I need to get my ink and my stamp. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your stamp. <laughs> you're gonna get your stamp and get your card, stock, paper, whatever you want to use and then position it. Okay, I think we'll go for here. to do is have I 
Okay, so I'm not really bothered about covering it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's just taking me a while. This I'm not really used to this misty to um, stamping tool, and sometimes it gives me a little, little bit of trouble <laughs> getting it right. Okay. So you pick your stamp up like so. And then I'm going to have to just move it around so that you can see. I didn't plan this quite correctly. There we go, that's better. So now you just want to choose some inks. Um, so we've got red, so I'm going to use a bit of red. And you're just going to go straight on here and some greens. Try to go where you haven't been with the red because it might go onto your stamp. And then what I like to do is I like to, I don't have a water spray, but if I did, I would use it. <laughs> and then stamp, I'm going to go backwards this time so that it doesn't stamp our pattern onto our paper. And then quickly dry it. <laughs> Okay, and then we go again. And this time I'm going to go with some darker reds. And I'm going to quickly wipe off my stamping tool. Ooh. With some baby wipes that I have. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to go in with a bit of a darker colour this time. And I'm going to hopefully... Well, actually, no, the same colours, and this time I'm going to give it a little bit more definition in the leaves. So I'm going to do the leaves first. Okay, so it wasn't completely dry, um, but I'm going to give it a go. There we go. And then I'm going to do the flowers in the places I think need it and this is called let me get this right it's water ink straight on the card is what i've called it it's probably called something else but it's what i'm calling it um i did it before but i think i used felt tips on a little bit of water and it worked out even better and um, but for some reason it's it does what it does it's water at the end of the day so there's that let's move our inks because we're going to use those in a moment for something else so I'm going to pause this again to dry it and then we will be back with you. Look how we're looking at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to close this quickly, move it to the side, bring in our backing for this card and place it on the top. And then I'll share with you what it looks like in a little bit. This video is taking a little bit longer. Um, it's again because I'm talking, the shorter videos don't take as long because um, they're voiceovers and I can speed the actual crafting up. But when I'm doing it like this, it's because I become a chatterbox. But hopefully you don't mind that so much. So again, create that border. There we go. And then we can add one of our sentiments. I've lost one. I had four. Oh, there it is. So look at that guys, I love that effect so so much and um, I think we'll put it down here so that we can add some, I'm using the Bright's Red Dovecraft um, drops, I had to think about what they were called then. My panda's moved. You're in a panda cup, so hopefully you don't mind. I'll move my scissors out of the way. And then we can just add a few drops here and there. Done. Like so. Not what I planned, but hey, hi, it is what it is. I think I need another few down here now, just to balance this corner out. Yeah, there we go. 
So there's our watercolour stamps. You could leave it just at the watercolour and it would be just as beautiful. So there's that one. We have got two cards left. Um, the next one is very, very easy and very, very simple. It's embossing it. And after that it becomes even more simple because we're just using it as a background, which is quite cool. So you get your... I have lost something very, very important that I need and I don't know where it is. It's to dry my um, tool, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flip it over quickly. Because I'm naughty. And I'm just going to put that down there. And get our stamped. Our stamped image. And I'm hoping this does as it's told. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... this put this down here and I'm gonna get my Sizzix ink which is my clear embossing ink not very clear looking there at the minute because I am, I've been a little bit naughty and not really cleaned off my stamps properly um, but that's okay so we got that one and I'm gonna move it this side and ink up again You don't have to ink up the whole thing. I do just because. Okay. And then get your baby wipes and clean off. Or if you have a stamp cleaner, use that. Clean off your stamp again. Put it away. <laughs> this is where it gets messy for me because I'm not very good at this whole inking and embossing thing. It goes everywhere. I feel like I've got a good enough impression, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my... Now we need clear for this one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to like tell you what we do, what we're going to do. Um, we're going to be doing some distress, distress inking. So we need to emboss our paper first. I hope, I hope that I have embossed it enough, inked it enough to get the... The effect so we'll see no we didn't or oh, we might have done hang on a minute okay and after that you put your ink or your embossing powder away you do not want to waste it. There's so much in such a small tub. Okay. So we're going to quickly heat emboss this. And then I'll be back. Okay guys, so um, I'm having some technical issues with my heat gun. So this will have to be a part two to this video. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it's long and I'll see you next time.